Hello, it's Bob from Boston, Massachusetts. It's the 79th week on the diet. Today is the Sunday, December 6th, 2015. I do this video in two parts. The first is a short reading to see how my speaking is going. And the second part is start with the events of last week. Here's my reading. <laughs> There's never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during normal business hours, Monday to Friday. After hours, appointments are available as needed. All servicing staff conversations are confidential. Okay, that was my reading. This is a, another bad week. It was a week of setbacks again. Um, what I, I, I ate some new foods, and I think they were responsible for my time going up. I, I was in the five-minute range. Now I'm in the six-minute range. So these foods cost me, and they are... Uh, Chocolate, unsweetened, walnut butter, and avocado. I thought I could eat, I didn't, I was not sure about chocolate, but it was a surprise about avocado and walnut butter. What was happening was, when I ate these foods, sometimes, or usually, I would feel like a tight belt was around my ankles. And that and because of that it was making me weaker and my walking time suffered because of it. So I I resolved to not try not to eat those anymore. What I what I'm going to do what happened was I made I came across this recipe for unsweetened chocolate that you make yourself, and it was very good, and I thought I was going to be able to eat it. I'm going to try it again, one more experiment tomorrow. I'll make it again, only this time I won't use walnut butter, because I know if I eat walnut butter, that will hurt me. And I think the basic problem is that all three foods have uh, the omega-6 fat to omega-3 fat ratio is is uh, not ideal. It should be 1 or 2 to 1. And the, like walnuts, even though it's 4 to 1, which is much better than most of the foods that we eat, uh, the numbers are huge. I mean, walnuts have a lot of omega-6 fats in them, like uh, tens of thousands of milligrams, whereas most foods just have something on the order of hundreds. So even though the ratios are big, you're still getting 40,000 milligrams, according to one uh, nutrition table I saw. Um, so what happened, the good news, is, well, I guess good news is that when I stopped eating those, my time went down. So the only real test was today. I just did my six laps in 6.03, whereas before it, it was like 7.17 and 6.30. But I stopped eating those starting yesterday, and it went down to 6 or 3. So I think I'm on to something, and we'll see you know, if, if we'll continue to improve. Um, but it's a little disappointing now. If, if I can't eat chocolate, and I can't, you know, I'm still on the search for what I can eat that's somewhat pleasurable to eat. Because you can't live on vegetables alone. It's driving me crazy, this stupid diet. Anyway, the other big change I made this week was uh, I increased the amount of vegetables I'm going to be eating. 
and serve usually a, about two-thirds of a cauliflower, two heads of broccoli, one bell pepper, one onion, and a bunch of asparagus every day. I'm going to increase that to one whole head of cauliflower and three heads of broccoli. So on broccoli and cauliflower, we're going to increase that 50%. The others will sit at the same. And so that hopefully that will, I don't know, so maybe there'll be some improvement by doing that. Basically what I'm doing is I'm having vegetables for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Before, I was just having them for lunch and dinner. Now I'm going to add those two, cauliflower and broccoli, for breakfast. So I guess that's it. Um, so this today is the last day of the 79th week on the diet. Tomorrow will be the first day of the 80th week on the diet. And I'll be back next week to talk about what happened and what you did. That's it. Bye-bye.